Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the smart IPTV app on your Fire Stick in 2025. The whole process is pretty simple and will take you only a couple of minutes. And the very first step you gotta take is get the app code downloader to your Fire Stick. To do that, we have to go to search, open the search bar and start entering downloader in the search. And as you can see, downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. You just click on it, and here's that orange application, which you need to get to your device. But then after you actually got downloader, it's not over yet, because still we have to set it up. So now to set up downloader, we'll go to settings by clicking this button with a gear icon, then scroll down and open My Fire TV. Open it, and in here you have to turn on the developer options. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry, because it's pretty easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it will say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging. After that, go to install unknown apps. And from here, what you have to do is locate downloader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's gonna allow you to install other applications from the internet. And not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we'll do right now. So now let's go back to the list of apps near Fire Stick. Here it is, we open it, and here is the downloader, which we got. However, before actually using the downloader, there's one more thing, which I always recommend doing. And it's, of course, connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a couple of bucks per month, which is a great pricing for us, the users. All we have to do in a VPN app is connect to any server. Let's say we'll connect to Poland right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic will be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, then I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video or in a description of this video, you will get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So we go back to a list of apps on the Fire Stick. Here it is, open it, and there is the Downloader, which we got. So open it, and here in the search bar, you have to enter the code which will be 75340. So again, 75340. That's the code you have to enter to download smart IPTV app to the Fire Stick. Then you click on go, and while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel. So you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. And now the download of the app has started. Usually it does not take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed then click install and wait until the installation is finished. After that, don't click open yet, instead press done, because this way you get an option to delete the installation files, as you don't really need them anymore on the Fire Stick. 
So click on delete and then delete once again. This way you will be able to save yourself some free space on the flower stick. And then when you go back to a list of apps on your device, open it, wait a moment until it loads, and there at the bottom you will finally see Smart IPTV. So first of all, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote now. That's the button with three horizontal lines, right next to the Home button on your remote. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, the app will always be at the very top of your application list, and therefore, it will be way easier for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. And once again, you can use a link below this video to get three months of NordVPN totally for free. So enjoy it all and see you next time. Bye bye.